Hey, it's Mark from Race Crews. Welcome to Trucking Tuesday. We're going to take a look at this Matchbox Transporter. I think I've seen this transporter in other package configurations before. Now, this is the first time I've seen it with a bunch of extra cars. It does have a loading ramp. We're going to take a look at that later on. It comes with 10 different Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels. Got to start. Cut! Welcome to Trucking Tuesday by Race Grooves. We're going to take a look at this Hot Wheels. Cut! Welcome to Truck on Tuesday by Race Grooves. We're going to take a look at this Matchbox Transporter. I think I've seen it before in smaller packages. It might have had just a couple cars. I looked for mine, I couldn't find it. But this one I just found at Marshall's in December or late November 2017. $19.99. Pretty good price. Comes with 10 Hot Wheels. Ah, cut! Start right here. Action! Holds up to 20 vehicles, all Matchbox models, of course. Here you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 Matchbox models, and it has a working loading ramp. Let's take a look at the back. There's the image on the side. Mm, shows uh, different models. Hey, there's a Torque, Torque Twister, Torque Titan, I think. Torque Twister, that's the Hot Wheels. I got Hot Wheels on my mind today, I don't know why. There you go again. Holds up to 20 vehicles. Cool. Check it out. You can detach the cab. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. This one has a copyright of 2016. When it's in the box, they want it to take as little shelf space as possible. So it's squished right now. But when you go to play with it, you just pop this out. Ah! Well, <laughs> that was too far. But you can take it apart. They did say that you can disassemble it. As you can see, it's all plastic. It's a child's toy. That's what it's snapping into. So if you get it right here in this circle or this circle, I'm not sure, it's probably this one. It should enable it to turn. Let's just get one click. Too far. Hmm. Hello. How do I get it into just one spot? One click. There's one click. Well, that didn't help either. Oh, there we go. Well, that was a little tricky to get it, to try to get it to stop in that one hole. It was a little bit tricky. But now you have full mobility, full articulation when you're driving. And check it out. No squeaky axles. I like that part. On the bottom, you see that you can store a couple cars on the bottom. Two on this side. And two on the other side. You notice this? This does not lock in. It's just kind of a, it's almost like a teeter-totter. So when you load your cars, uh, I think you're going to want to make sure you get them in the front so you have the weight. But then when you want to unload them, you snap this down. And then you can just tip it. It has a little handle right here. You just tip it, and out they go, out the back. And the same with the bottom. It has a little handle right here. You can just lift this up, and then your cars will roll out. Cars, trucks, SUVs, doom buggies, they have all sorts of models in this pack. Let's go ahead and take a look at those cars. You have the ATV 6x6. Now, I'm pretty sure I said earlier that none of these are exclusive to this set. All of these, I think this might have been a five-pack or a single. Pretty cool. It has a groove in front, so that's going to help your car stay here first. You just load them up. Up next, next, let's take a look at Dune Smasher, Dirt Smasher. And this one has the ink INC decorations. It also has moving parts. You can open this up. You can grab things. You can grab sticks, drive them around. I don't remember. No, it doesn't move in the back. There you, there you have Dirt Smasher. Now let's go ahead and get Baja Bandit. A little off-road doom buggy. Let me angle it like this so we can see. And let's see. Let's go ahead and get Turn Tamer. Another off-road. As a matter of fact, all of these vehicles are like off-road vehicles or trucks. A lot of trucks in here, actually. Speaking of off-road, you have the Moto Tracker. Uh-oh. It's 
going to want to go on its own. Oh, I can't quite fit. Uh, well, I can't quite. Oh, it does just barely. But don't forget, you can put them on different levels. Or you can put them on the bottom. Let's go ahead and load up the other side. After Moto Tracker, let's go ahead and get Road Raider. And Road Raider is kind of wide. It has, you know, big off-road tires. Army decorations. There you have him. And here is Questor. Questor is another truck, and it has an opening feature. You can open up the back right here. Hide your money. Maybe a dime. I don't even know if a dime will fit. Now, they said not all Matchbox models will fit. Well, they just barely fit, actually. Maybe there's some others that might not work. I like this truck right here because it looks like a warthog. That's Rumble Raider, another big wheeled off road vehicle. Okay, if you want to go, okay, uh oh, it's already leaning. We better keep these in the back. Because look, if I look, if I let go, oh, good, it's stuck. Let's see, who do we have next? Here we have a trail tracker. Hey, we have two six wheelers in the set. One actually is called six wheeler, a TV six wheeler, six by six. And this one is the trail tracker in red and no moving parts. And I like this one, Swamp Raider. Let's go ahead. I don't know if they'll fit. These are kind of bigger models. Looks like we're only going to be able to fit one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this. Oh, hey. There's, there's a knot somewhere. I did not know. There's a knot somewhere. Let's see if we can... Okay, let's let you guys... Wait a second. Uh, we only have nine. Let's get a parking spot. We'll just, we'll just put a trail tracker on the bottom for now. Since they're going to pop, since this thing's going to pop, let's just unload it. Open it up. I want to see where the uh, lip is that's holding the top row. Now I can't get it to lower. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it in the front, so this way I'm not blocking your view. Ready? I can't fit 10 on the bottom either. I'm trying to squeeze them in. It doesn't fit. That's, it's kind of hard to get 10 on the bottom because on this side too, because there's a little lip, so they want to roll right out of there. I'm going to put Questor on the bottom. You can see he's a taller model, and he fits just fine. There you go. You can see it has little dots to latch in. Right here is a little dot, so there's a peg hole. Pop it in. And now that I see that on the other side, look, there's a little hole right there. So there's probably a peg on the inside. Lock it up. Now let's roll them on out. Here I have my little lifter. Set, go! I should do it from both sides. Hey, too tall. There you go, the Matchbox Transporter. An affordable toy for the kids. I have a whole bunch of Truck and Tuesday videos if you'd like to check them out. Matchbox cars have a whole playlist and other stuff as well. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye-bye.